we start the lesson today photosynthesis it is uh, section uh, 6-1 <coughs> page 1-1-1 uh, so please uh, open your book and follow with me okay photosynthesis is the process by which you know this one from your previous study uh, photosynthesis is the process by which the plants make uh, light or convert light energy to chemical energy in the food, light energy from the sun into chemical energy in food, okay? Right. Um, one important thing before I start, we want to uh, revise what is the meaning of biochemical pathway. You took before that in photosynthesis, the plant takes carbon dioxide, right? And, yes, uh, water in presence of uh, light energy and the chlorophyll to form a sugar or organic substance, carbohydrates, plus oxygen, right? Actually, it is not that easy. This is the overall reaction, but the reaction itself is called biochemical pathway. So what is biochemical? But this is, this is science grade five. Now we are in grade 10. So for sure we have to take something more detailed. Okay, biochemical pathway, biochemical pathway, okay, is series of reaction in which, W Ali Hadash, in which, in which the products concentrate in this, the products in one, خلاص, enter, as a reactant in another. What does this mean, a teacher? Yani, for example, if A plus B gives C, and then we take the product of this reaction, which is C, and it enters as a reactant in another reaction. C plus D gives E. And then the product of this reaction enter as a reactant in the next. So E, for example, plus F gives G and so on. This is called biochemical pathway. It is series of reactions in which the product in one enter as a reactant in another. The product in the second enter as a reactant in the third and so on. So what is this? This is the overall, يعني, as if I say that A plus B gives G, the very starting reactant and the very last product, okay? So in this section, we will start about to explain these steps in detail, the biochemical pathway, okay? Time. Before we start, this is page one. So here we talked about that photosynthesis changes light energy to chemical energy and we revised the overall reaction we took and then we said that it is a biochemical pathway means it is not one step, it is a series of reaction in which the product in, an, in one enters as a reactant in the other and so on. وبالتالي, take care. If any of the substances in the previous steps are missed, the final product will not be form it. Yani if there is no C, this reaction will not take place. If this reaction it will not take place, if a G, the final product, the carbohydrates will not be formed. This is clear? Okay. Type. And here, also, you know, this diagram, you know, the photosynthesis and the cellular respiration is a opposite reactions, right? Yani or opposite processes. Yani in photosynthesis, carbon dioxide plus water in presence of energy, light energy, we, we make a, of the plant make a sugar, lower food, plus oxygen. Halas, type. What happens in respiration? Huh? Food burned by oxygen, when we eat food and when we breathe oxygen, a chemical reaction takes place between the sugar or the food and the oxygen in our cells allows to form a carbon dioxide and water vapor that the products we exhale with the exhaled air and the energy. 
And this energy released from this process, we use it in performing our uh, vital processes, okay? So they are um, opposite to each other. So uh, to use energy, this is photosynthesis, okay? And to release energy, this is the opposite one is a respiration. respiration. Yes, excellent. Okay, Ty. And also we know that the percentage of carbon dioxide uh, and oxygen are maintained constant in the atmosphere because of this reaction. Yani, uh, when we breathe, we take uh, oxygen and we release carbon dioxide. And this means that the oxygen in the atmosphere will decrease and the carbon dioxide will increase. But if we have green areas, so the plant will take this carbon dioxide and convert it to a oxygen again. So if there is a balance between uh, the uh, photosynthesis and the respiration, this will maintain the concentration of carbon dioxide and oxygen are a constant in the atmosphere. This is clear? This is clear, Ya Farah? Okay, can you repeat what I said? Why? So again, I say that photosynthesis and respiration are opposite processes. In photosynthesis, we take carbon dioxide and we release oxygen. In respiration, we take oxygen to burn food to, re to, re to give carbon dioxide water and energy. Okay? Right. So th this means that there must be a balance between the number of the individuals that respire and the amount of the green areas. All right? or else by respiration, the oxygen will decrease, 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 and the carbon dioxide will increase, increase, increase. You got it? So there will be a problem, environmental problem. Okay. Right. The photosynthesis processes are divided into two main stages. Photosynthesis is divided into two main stages. What are them? Light reaction. Mm -hmm. And dark reaction. Okay? And pay attention to this. Me, myself, I don't like the term dark reaction. I prefer the term light independent. You know why? Because some people think that light reaction mean, means it takes a place during daytime and dark reaction takes a place during nighttime, and this is wrong. Light reaction and dark reaction, not because they happen in light and in dark, day and night, no. All the photosynthesis reaction, the light reaction and dark reaction, both of them takes a place in or during daytime. But light reaction is so called because the limiting factor here is the light. Okay, what is the limiting factor? Limiting factor is light. And the limiting factor is the factor that limits or controls the rate of reaction. In the greater the light intensity, give me the red pen, please, the red marker. The greater the light intensity, the greater the amount of product, the greater the rate of the reaction. Okay? And the uh, less the light intensity, the less the rate of reaction. Uh, the light intensity is the factor that controls the rate of reaction, which is which controls whether the reaction would be fast or will be slow. Okay? Dark reaction, so again, it is not called dark reaction because it takes place during uh, night or, uh, or during darkness. It is so called because light is not the limiting factor. Okay? Here the brown one, light limiting factor, limiting factor is not light, limiting factor is temperature and carbon dioxide concentration. What is the meaning of this? I will explain it after I finish, okay? But uh, this is why I prefer the term light independent reaction. Yani the rate of reaction, how fast the reaction is, does not depend on the light intensity. It depends on other factors like temperature and carbon dioxide, as I will explain to you. Okay? So here, light is not limiting 
limiting factor okay so it is light independent reaction okay and this is page two so again we said here in you know, the photosynthesis and respiration are opposite processes and we divided the photosynthesis into two main stages according what is the limiting uh, whether the light is the limiting factor it's called light reaction or light dependent reaction or the light is not the limiting factor it is not the factor that controls how fast the reaction is so it is called also light independent reaction and what are the limiting factors here temperature and carbon dioxide how they affect the rate of reaction this i will explain it later okay time where light and dark reaction takes place it they take they take place in a, a structure in the plant cell called what chloroplast oh, no okay so uh, for sure, طبعاً, we cannot explain what are the reactions of the photosynthesis without explaining or revising the structure of the chloroplast. Mm -hmm. like we took in chapter 5 the structure of chloroplast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> chloroplast structure. أولاً, it has single membranous or double membranous? Double. Yes, it's double. Here it is, the outer and inner membrane. Uh, this is a 3D. I will draw it 2D for you, for simplicity. Okay, this is the two membranes. I will draw it like this. It's like a disc, discoid shape. Okay, and it has two membranes, outer and inner. Okay, type. Inside uh, the uh, chloroplast, we will, we will find like membranous structures called, called what? Called. Yes, each one. Each membrane I draw is called thylakoid, and this bile of thylakoid is called what, yeah, doctor? Uh, gamma. Grana, grana. Grana. Okay, like this. Okay. Type. And on the grana or the thylakoid, arranged what? The pigments that will absorb, like chlorophyll that will absorb the light. But why Allah makes like this? To increase the surface area, to ensure, subhanAllah, to ensure that each molecule of the pigments will be exposed to the light. Okay? يعني, بصوا يا جماعة, لو, لو chlorophyll molecules دول are clumped like this, يبقى this means that only the molecules here will be exposed to the light, but the molecule inside will not be exposed to the light, okay? But if we take all these molecules and we arrange it one by one like this, so we ensure that each molecule is exposed to a light energy. You got it? Okay, type. So, this is double membrane. Okay, this is thylakoid, the one membrane is called thylakoid, okay, a bile of thylakoid all together like this, they make what's called granum, 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 granum are called grana, the plural is grana, okay, time, and then the, these thylakoid or these grana are embedded in fluid called stroma. stroma. Okay? So if I ask you, just guess, kida. Reaction called.